Hello and welcome to the world of Pisces. Pisces, I hope that you all are radiating positive energy at this time. Let's hop into it, get a universal message. Let's see how you guys are doing on your soul's journey. All right, universe, what is the universal message for Pisces on their soul's journey? Okay, Pisces, take the leap of faith into the unknown, right? Take the risk. What you got to lose? Right? If you if you if you jump, the universe will catch you. Right? But you have to take the lead. Right? So take a leap of faith into the unknown. The universe is wanting you to go ahead and take a chance on yourself. You know, make the change in your life. Do it. Right? Don't think about it. Just do it. Right? Just take action. Okay, so Pisces, that's that's the uh message on your soul's journey. It's time to take a risk. It's time to take that leap of faith. It's time to make change. It's time to face your fears. It's time to just move on. All right. So let's collect some energy, Pisces. Let's see what's going on around you. What's going on in your environment here? And we got the devil himself. Okay. Okay. Now this is a double major deck, right? And with this devil card, I want you to know something about it. These two people, they didn't took over this devil's energy. They now have the devil chained up. These people fake like they're innocent or good or pure when all actuality they not. You can see their horns growing through their hair, right? So, yeah, Pisces, somebody who used to, you know, I feel like somebody's changed on you, right? Somebody's intention has changed for you on you for the worse. Right? There's somebody in your environment that you shouldn't trust. Right? What does the devil do? The devil comes in your every desire. The devil knows what you want. It uses the people close to you if it can't get to you. Right? So with this devil energy, Pisces, I'm feeling like you need to be careful with somebody in your environment. Maybe two people. All right? Let's see what else is going on here. Okay? Now look at this fool. Right? The universe said, take that leap of faith. I'll catch you. Right? But somebody may have waited too late. Right? So if you get that feeling, that gut instinct that's telling you, get away from this person. Move. Now. You know, don't wait till it's too late. Right? That's what the universe is saying. This is kind of like a warning about somebody in your environment. Look, the king of wands. This particular king of wands is sitting around wanting to build something, but you never got off your butt, right? You can't expect things to grow if you don't do anything. How you expect to get some type of reward when you ain't putting in no work, right? So this is what the universe is trying to say. It's trying to warn you, right? Somebody want a reward, but they ain't putting it in no work. They bringing about the illusion that they going to do something. Don't let this person trick you out of a blessing or the opportunity to move forward. Because this person is here to keep you stagnant, to keep you still. Okay, with this king of wands looking like he broke down like a double barrel shotgun. Like he can't even get up. His knees hurt. Okay. Okay, let's get one more card for what's in your environment, Pisces. Look at it. It's the high priestess. You have to let your intuition lead you. You have to be more secretive. You cannot open up to just any and everybody and be so trusting and loving, Pisces. That's what the universe is saying. Let your intuition lead you because somebody around you does not have good intention. Somebody is around you just to keep you stagnant, just to, just to, uh, you know, keep you stagnant because with this fool right here, I'm feeling like somebody is stunting your growth. Somebody is blocking your blessings. Like the universe not going to bless you as long as this person is in your life. That's the energy in your environment. Somebody needs to be released because it's making you miss blessings. And Pisces, you need to take a leap of faith into the unknown. You, whatever, you need to risk it all. The devil, Capricorn energy. And we all know about the Capricorn energies. They mainly are about their business. They mainly are about their finances, okay? And they could be manipulative or exploitive, right? Right? They, they care about the physical things, 
right? So, you know, not to set yourself up emotionally to be drowning in your tears if this is a relationship. Not to be wanting to get up and do something and just can't or just don't because of the 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 trap you feel trapped with this person like like if you leave them or if you move on you won't have this or you won't have that the universe is saying don't even let that hold you listen to me listen to your intuition i'm gonna guide you through this but you cannot wait till it's too late you cannot keep getting drugged deeper and deeper and deeper into this toxic situation Okay, so this is like in your environment, you got somebody that's holding you back, trying to hold you back intentionally, don't want you to grow, outgrow them, don't want you to leave them, want you to feel like you can't move without them. All right, Pisces, and what's crossing that energy? The lovers, right? And this lovers, this is like the love of a lifetime, right? This is the type of love where we can build from the bottom up. Like we got this success. We got our cattle. We got this land. We got the sun. We have each other. We can create and build a family. So this is probably a lover. This is probably something that started off so beautiful like it always do. It always start off good right? It's always a miracle, a blessing. It's always feeling good in the beginning, right? But how did this turn to this? How did this turn to this? To be consumed by it. Be consumed by this physical existence, right? How did that play out like that? So Pisces, this is the energy in your environment. You could have a lover that's keeping you stagnant. That that's keeping you stuck in a place where you don't want to be. This could be you be you simply not happy where you at no more. Your feelings change. You're ready to move on, but you 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 everything your intuition telling you to move on, but you stay. And when you stay, you end up failing and falling and being emotional, feeling stagnant and letting that chaos rule over you so much where you don't feel like moving. Right? Get in tune with yourself. Get back in tune with yourself because this lover is your demise, okay? So, Pisces, let's hop into it. Let's hop into this. Let's see, what is this devil energy for you? What is this devil energy, Pisces? Right? Somebody worse than the devil himself. It's the eight of wands. It's something you need to hurry up and get the heck away from, right? The eight of wands is moving on, moving forward swiftly. It's a lot going on, multitasking, communication, right? This is this is what I'm saying. The universe is saying, move on fast as you can. Take the leap fast. Some of you may be running out of time, right? Not saying that the universe is giving up on you, but there's a window. There's a divine time. There's a, a way things have to go. And if you refuse to hop on that wheel when it's spinning, you might miss your turn, right? That's what I'm telling you. This person or the situation is making you miss out on your blessings right so you're encouraged to get up out of this energy as fast as you can with the eight of wands right what else comes with this devil and we have justice right it's time to end this karmic cycle it's time for you to bring your life into balance Right, it's time for you to get away from the Grand Reaper or, or or someone from the Vatican. Right, it's time for you to come up out of that physical uh, whirlpool. Right, that whirlpool will suck you up and spin you down. You can never come up out of that spinning cycle or the whirlpool. Right, so it's like justice is here. You got to take the opportunity as it comes. You have to go from within. You have to check yourself, Pisces, right? You have to move on fast if you want to end this karmic cycle, right? Ace of Cups, right? This is a, that toxic love. This is that toxic love, right? Ain't going to get into details about everything, but the energy now is to just come up out of it. Right, come up out of that toxic love and bring and end this karmic cycle with justice. Right, move forward. 
Okay, so we have this fool. Well, the fool that fell into the water, right? Wasn't listening to the intuition, right? The hierophant, right? It's like you knew better. This hierophant is sitting up here with a Ouija board, right? With the signal as, as above, so below, right? Everything gets a return, right? And sometimes we wait too late. Sometimes we wait till it's too late when we knew we should have moved on faster or we knew we should have made a decision then and there, right then and there. We knew our impulses was like, now go, 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 but I remain still. Therefore, I got the bad end of the stick, right? So you knew better. If you know better, do better. You can't expect to get rewards if you're not taking action on something. Okay? So it's like this fool comes with the higher fit. You knew better. You should have listened to your intuition. Right? The star. Now you got to heal from it. Now you got to heal from it or go through this cycle again. Right? With this particular fool. Because it's like you got swept up in that whirlpool. Because you didn't, you didn't jump on that wheel. Right? You didn't listen to your intuition. You didn't let your intuition lead you. So you got sucked up in that whirlpool. And now you had to go through that cycle again. You may have been through this cycle with this person many, many times. Right? And each and every time your intuition be screaming at you louder and louder and louder. Right. But somehow you get sucked back up into that whirlpool because once the de once this uh, devil energy has you, it sinks you deeper and deeper and deeper into the situation. Right. But you should listen to your intuition because you have knowledge. Knowledge is power. You know better. But at the same time, the universe only reads energy as above, so below. If that's the energy you putting out, that's the energy you surround yourself with. That's the energy you're going to get. Right. So you have to know that. The star. Now you got to go through this healing process. But you haven't given up. That's what I like about the star. Because it signifies hope. It signifies alignment. Right? You're tired of experiencing this, experiencing this cycle. You're trying to align with your higher self. You're trying to come up out of that whirlpool because you do know better. You already knew that you couldn't stay in this cycle. Right. So now you're trusting more into your intuition because it's like, what else am I going to do? Because in this whirlpool with this devil energy, I'm just getting sucked deeper and deeper in. Now I got to go deep within myself to bring myself up out of it. I have to heal from this. I have to align. I cannot give up. So Pisces, it's like, yeah, you may have went through a cycle with somebody and, and you already knew what the deal was. You already knew what you needed to do, what you were supposed to do, what you really wanted to do. And sometimes we just don't. Right. And now the lesson is learned. So once you complete this cycle, you're definitely coming up out of it. Right. So this is about uh, you being involved with somebody who's been spinning you through through a cycle that's that's setting you up for failure, that's setting you up for stagnancy, a relationship or just somebody you cannot grow with anymore, right? Someone who is here to block your blessings or, or you know, your blessings is being blocked because of this person that's in your life. Ace of Wands, right? With the fool, you have the opportunity to start over. Right. You have the opportunity to have a rebirth. The universe is saying this isn't it. This isn't the end. This is just the beginning. Maybe this is something you needed to go through to experience to build up your character. So you will know better the next time. So you will see it in another person. If that energy is trying to follow you around, you will be able to recognize it and not make those same mistakes. So when the Ace of Wands shows up, it lets me know that you have the opportunity for growth, for a second chance, for a new start, right? You just got to get up off your ass, man. You can't let this person drain all your energy. This the King of Wands, for Christ's sakes. The King of Wands is one of the strongest masculine energies that I know, right? In the terror. The King of Wands has a lot of grit, and I don't like to see the King of Wands like this, letting that chaos get the best of them. So you got to do something. You have to take some form of action. 
right? What is the action that Pisces need to take here with the King of Wands to get back stable, to have success? And it's the King of Cups. You have to get emotionally mature. You have to use your superpowers, which is your emotions. Even if you have to be emotional manipulating, right? To In order to, whatever you got to do to get out. The, the King of Cups is diplomatic. He knows how to use his emotions to change situations. He knows how to change a situation for the better, right? So it's time for you to get creative. It's time for you to get creative with your emotions. Swallow them motherfuckers, okay? Get mature about them, right? It's time to stand up. It's time to stand up. So what else comes with this King of Wands? And it's the queen of swords. You got to start speaking your truth. You got to start being real with yourself. You got to be on the lookout, right? You bar none. You have to stand up for yourself, Pisces. You have to be brave enough to live in your truth. If this isn't what you want anymore, it's not what you want. You cannot stay on the account of how somebody else feel. Or how you going to make somebody else feel when you so unhappy? You got to be real with yourself, right? You got to, you know, get yourself together. You got to stand up for yourself. And then we have the nine of pentacles. You got to take back your independence or you're going to keep being buried, right? But I see you trying to come out. I see you coming out, Pisces. Your head is above the, the, the rubbish, Right? You're making your way out of this. You will not be held down for long. You're going to find a way to get back to your feet. You're going to find a way to get back on your feet. Your intuition is what's going to help you. Okay? Because that's what you should have been listening to the whole time. Right? Because it's been talking to you the whole time. The Knight of Cups. Your intuition say, hey, listen. Yeah, love can start off great. But it comes and it goes. It comes and it goes, and that's a lesson that you need to learn. Love comes and goes. The Knight of Cups is a hopeless romantic. He wears his heart on his sleeves, but for how long? Right? So love comes and it goes. That's a lesson that you need to learn. You cannot put all your eggs in one basket. And maybe this was a relationship, right? But maybe this person ghosts you all through the relationship. Maybe your intuition was telling you that this was going to be flighty in the beginning. Right? So the lesson is love comes and love goes. You have to listen to your intuition in order to let it guide you. Right? You have to be emotionally mature with the King of Cups. Then we have the Emperor. You have to take control over your own situations. You have to set stricter boundaries. You have to be stubborn sometimes. Right? You have to mean what you say. Say what you mean. If you set a boundary, stick to that boundary. Don't come off of that for nothing in the world. Right? Let your intuition lead you. It, it'll show you the way. It'll speak to you. What else comes with the high priestess for Pisces? And we have the six of swords. It's time for you to bring peace into your life. It's time for you to move on and move forward. Relocate. Whatever you got to do to find that safe space. Pisces, I hope this resonated. Let's see what's crossing the energy. And it's the four cups. This is you missing your blessings by being in this energy, by being around this person, by letting this person take over your environment. If it's a relationship, if it's a friend, whatever it is, you're giving somebody too much power in your life and it's making you miss blessings, your blessings, because the universe will not bless you as long as this energy is around. So Pisces, this energy has you bored, detached, disconnected, right? It's time for you to get back in tune with yourself. Let's get a message of guidance for you here, Pisces. What's the message of guidance for Pisces in this situation? Wow. And we have give into passion. Give into passion, right? That's this king of wands right here. What are you passionate about? What do you love to do? What makes your heart sing? What makes your soul sing, Pisces? Give into that feeling. That's where you're going to find your strength. 
Okay, whatever you're passionate about, whatever you love to do, start inviting things that you love to do into your life, right? That's where you can find your strength, your power at, right? Because that music, that that tune, right, that symphony, that, that song that sings in your heart is your strength. Use music to help you get out of this if you have to, right? A lot of Pisces love to use music as a way to be expressive, as an escape, as a way to release, okay? Let that creativity build up in you, Pisces, right? Do things that you love to do, okay? That helps you, give you strength, okay? So, let's get a word from the Chakra Wisdom to promote positivity, to see what chakra needs to be worked on, or to simply get an inspirational quote that we can say to ourselves each and every day. All right, Pisces. We have the fourth chakra, and it's the heart chakra, and this one is relevant to generosity. Generosity is sharing. I give, I give myself freely, and I am open to opportunities to do so. I do this because I can and I expect nothing in return. Speaking from the heart will let those around me know how I feel about them. My generosity will touch another person's heart and replenish their spirit. Through love, I have a positive, spontaneous, and lasting influence on the healing and transformation of both myself and others. So generosity is our positive energy. If you're new to my channel and you like this video, go ahead, hit that like or subscribe button. For those of you who are returning, thank you for your continued support. And remember that your comments are always welcome. This is all I have, Pisces. As always, be safe, be blessed, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.